want to shit on Anacostia or like that area, but we got caught in that area. Fourth of July after the the double tornadoes, power was out. Niggas house of race Brent um, bands wasn't working. Bracelets wasn't <laughs> the well, folk shit wasn't working. So everybody was out on the street and they was firing shots up in the street. And we got on the wrong bus. I got on the wrong circulator bus. Like we were trying to kind of tour that downtown area and ended up on one of those circulators that takes you out into southeast southwest and it was cool i ain't really scared i don't i'm stupid enough to not know when i need to be scared and i needed to be scared folks had had food stamps in three or four days like it was a lot was happening um and we rode the circulator bus out too far and it was funny because we rode it out to um i want to say colorado do you know are you familiar with that colorado street in anacostia we rode all the way out to there behind that safeway behind that hood ass safeway so we, we get off the driver's like this is far as i go and so we get off and we we go in that safeway and then we cut across the parking lot and I mean it was cats and it was deeper because power was out so the lights wasn't working people's buildings wasn't working everybody's food's gone bad nobody's house raised bracelet is on so you know cats is shooting guns up in the air it was a lot and it, and it was 4th of July weekend second tornado so when we got out there we was walking down the street looking lost in the motherfucker I guess because a bus driver pulled up and he stopped the bus in the middle of the street. He opened the door. He said, hey, sister, you and your baby don't need to be out here right now. <laughs> Get on this bus and come on, let's go. And I was like, oh, well, we were trying to get back into the downtown area. He said, I'll make sure that you figure out how to get back to Union Station. You said you off that red light. I'll make sure, but you don't need to be out here. It's not safe for you and your girl to be out here and picked us up in the middle of the street we weren't on no bus stop nothing like that we was just walking down the street because the bus stop had like 18 dudes surrounding it and they was chilling and it was a lot going on it was like CeeLo was happening at the bus stop and so I was like we're not gonna stop there we let's walk forward and so we started walking but yeah, they on our way to finding another bus stop. The driver, he oh, a, a driver, he just pulled over and was like, "Nah, this isn't a good look for you. <laughs> I'm get on." So we got on the bus stop, you know, and we're sitting down and we're riding through the city. And I'm not scared. I was like, I wasn't even scared. It wasn't even that deep to me that I felt like I should be afraid of where we were at, you know. Like, and I asked him as we were getting off the bus, I was like, was where you picked us up like as bad as you made us feel like? Or was it, you know, like a little minimal hood? I can deal with that. Like I know some hood ish, but ain't nobody really trying to mess with me at the in the hood because they respect mothers. Like the average hood ass black dude, they respect a black mother. And so I don't really get messed with that much. And he was like, yo, you was in in the spot to be. And everybody's bracelet was off. It could have been real different. So that was that was one of my first DC experiences. <laughs> and DC, like the whole city, like outside of Northeast or Columbia Heights or one of the popular hoods in DC. <laughs>